You know me, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just have a go in it, have a go. Well, that, Rob, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. That's the sort of thing I'm looking for. So we gotta do that times two. That's what I want, is I want it to sit flat like that. Grind it the way we want it now in a minute. That noise you can use. Car racing. It's about uh, half a mile away, but we can hear it from here. That's what I said. You know, things like that, you think we'd be running free. Because we got to put up with it. Right, that's going to go big toe, big toe. Barely. I'm doing two jobs at the same time, so I'm doing plastic as well as metal work. That's going to be welded on there like that. You see? Yeah, and there's going to be a candle in the back, so we want it pretty, uh, pretty not snappable. Okay, let's try that for size. I walk it well because I don't like things falling apart on me or on anybody else. So we're going to do exactly the same trick. scraper as I said if it's there why not use it innit I'm not gonna run over there just to get a scraper that's why people take four hours to go to the storeroom and then come back and say oh it's the wrong one I wanted a 13 mil not a 14 if you know what I mean because we're gonna try and make a 3D, you see, this is what it's all about. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make a 3D. That way, and that way, and the other way. Three bends. Look, look, that's what Gildo made me do. Oh, you should screw your. I know, I know. I come from a long line of amateurs. It's all about stretching and shrinking and stretching and and shrinking and around the edges, shrinking and stretching and generally just having a time. If they gotta go on there, something like that. You see, I want it like that ish. Understand it? No, I don't get down. Okay, keep it going. Right, we've got a mimic out now under this one. A mimic. What a great word, isn't it? The party is what a monkey does. A monkey mimics. So what's that got to do with me? I don't know. And as you said, yes, I could have used the joggler, but it means out of that shed, into this shed. I can't do it, I just can't do it. I can't carry it. Go on, three lots. It don't matter how long these are, because when I'm open, is when we put the wings on, I'll show you. Right? These are going there like that, rounded. Free up the chest three times. 
and then I'm hoping this will come over there and cover that. And then weld here, and then just the next one will cover the weld of that one, and the next one will cover the weld of that one. And we're going to put some marks in yet, and that should automatically start fold, you know, curving it. Automatic, automatic. Sean, you're automatic. So we got that. So that should fit onto that belly quite well because we're going to have it slightly up. So that, that is close already. This is how I add it, so don't have a go at me. I'm surprised it actually works, but it does. Right, we're going to give it a bit of a them weld max because we're not you won't be getting that uh -huh. you won't be getting that down later once it's done up that's it you can't get any awkward bits these wire brushes are pretty dangerous giving up yet because that's going to go on there like that anyway so that will light all welding so we'll leave it we won't start screaming yet I'm just going to put one tack on there and we'll have a look if it needs straightening Something like that, twice. Got my camel cuffs on. I think I should send this one to Vince. Right, we're going back to uh, in indentations. So it fits over his nose, you say. I want it to fit over his nose. Alright, this is something I think you gotta weld and then straighten after you weld it. That's the only way you're gonna do it, I think. Now let's try it. Alright, that shouldn't fall off this week. Throw two ovals in his eyeballs, and then we're going to put his eyes on in front of them. But I'm hoping to weld it from in there like that. You get rid of all your welding. The only welding there is around the back. We could make him cock eyed, I suppose. I'm going to make everybody laugh at the same time. There we just want to open the eyes. Slightly. Gives it that 3D. Oh, we need that. There's a thing in there to put a um, candle on. A candle, I know, if by memory, it's about that big. Just see, let's just call it inch and a half. Would it fit in there? I'd say no. Next stage up, I'd say. We gotta make that fit in there. 
Right, if you're going to weld anything good, it's got to be this thing. Because you don't want this falling out with a candle in it. Okay. You've got to be absolutely happy that's not going to fall backwards when it's got a candle in it. Well, that, that's about a pound, so I know a candle is not a pound. I wish I could fly up to the sky. <coughs> that, we all know. Fuckers, that is a penny candle. You can buy them for pennies. I made that on the back. All right, and that, I could stand on that. If I had to. Then you just light your candle. And that goes in the back of there, like that. There it is. So this is my entry for the uh, lamp. The lamp competition. Uh, I don't know if I can beat Ian. He seems to be a odds on favourite at the moment. But we'll see what it's like when it gets dark, is it? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>